Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will study the estimation of total carbohydrates and proteins in our sample. This video is part of our food and drug analysis. In our previous videos of food and drug analysis, we studied moisture content and ash content present in our sample. First of all, we will study how we can measure total carbohydrates in our proteins. We will use the method of Chandran et al. 2013. The aim of this study is to estimate the amount of total carbohydrates by Anthron's method. The principle of this method is carbohydrates are important components of storage and structural material. Therefore, exist as free sugar as well as in the form of polysaccharides in our sample. They are first hydrolyzed into simple sugar by using dilute hydrochloric acid. On heating in acidic medium, glucose is dehydrated to hydroxymethyl furfural. During enthrone test, hydroxymethyl furfural makes a green colored complex with enthrone which gives absorption maximum at 630 nanometer. Anthron is actually the anthracene with ketone group. And this is the aromatic ketone. The reaction is when D-glucose in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid is converted or dehydrated into hydroxymethyl furfural and when it is reacted with anthrone it gives a bluish green color complex which gives lambda max of 630 nanometer. Apparatus required during this experiment is test tubes, pipettes, vortexer are also called vortex mixer, water bath, centrifuge, centrifuge tubes and spectrophotometer. Reagents used in this study are 2.5 normal hydrochloric acid, sodium carbonate in the solid form, powder, enthroned reagent. For making enthroned reagent, weigh 200 mg of enthroned and dissolve in 100 ml of 95% volume volume sulfuric acid. To make standard solution, we have to make 0.1% or 1 mg per ml of the stock standard solution of glucose and dilute it up to 100 microgram per ml to make working standard solution. Extraction of total carbohydrates from sample. Initially weigh 100 mg of sample in a test tube and add 5 ml of hydrochloric acid solution in this sample. Hydrolyze the sample by keeping on boiling for 3 hours on water bath. Cool down the sample and neutralize with sodium carbonate until the effervescence ceases. Make up the sample to 100 ml with distilled water. Transfer the sample to centrifuge tube and centrifuge at 3000 times G for 10 minutes at room temperature. We will discuss what is centrifugation and what is 3000 times G in our next slides. Collect the supernatant and use for estimation. Measurement or estimation of total carbs in our sample. The procedure for measurement is pipette out 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1 ml of working standard solution in test tubes and mark as standard S1, S2, S3 and so on. It is used, it will be used to make a standard graph. Take 0.5 ml of the sample in another test tube and mark as T. 
which is the test, test sample or unknown concentration of the solution. Make up the volume of all the test tubes to 1 ml with distilled water. So in this way, the concentrations of our standard solution is varying with different S1, S2, S3 and S4 test tubes. Take 1 ml of the distilled water in another test tube and mark as blank which contains zero concentration of our glucose. Add 4 ml of enthrone reagent in all the test tubes including blank. Vertex the test tube and keep on boiling for 8 minutes. Read the absorbance at 630 nanometer against blank using spectrophotometer. How we will, we will make standard curve and calculate the amount of glucose? Draw a standard curve by plotting concentration of glucose on x-axis. For this, we make standard solutions S1, S2 and S3 and so on. And the absorbance of these solutions will be given on, uh, on y-axis. So the absorbance will be reported on y-axis. So in this way, we will make a standard curve. So the first one is the blank, which contains zero concentration of glucose, and then so on, 10, 20, 30 microgram per ml. And then finally, we will test our unknown solution, our unknown sample, and we will find out the concentration of our sample. So finally, the total amount of carbohydrate is calculated as gram of glucose, per 100 gram of the sample. So now we will discuss what is centrifugation. Centrifugation is a mechanical process which involves the use of centrifugal force to separate particles from a solution according to their size, shape, density, medium, viscosity and rotor speed. On left side and on right side of our presentation, we have shown that how the sample will be separated from the supernatant and the pellet we obtained will be the solid particles and supernatant will be suspended or it will be the upper portion of our solution and the rotation of the rotor is given as revolution per minute which is called RPM. Radius of the rotor is given in centimeter. Relative centrifugal force RCF is expressed in times gravity that is xg or simply it is represented by g. The relationship between times g and revolution per minute is as follow. Times g is equal to 1.19 into 10 power minus 5 r R is the radius of the rotor, the centrifugation machine and multiply by the RPM square that is revolution per minute whole square. So in this way we can convert revolution per minute into times g. So in most of the centrifuge machines there is an option of RPM or times g and some in some cases there is only times g or in some cases there is only rpm so we can set rpm or times g in our machine